arriving this Sunday, the fall season, but the taste of the season, well, they're already here. Today, we're taking a break from pumpkin spice and we're celebrating something equally as nice, apple dumplings, because it's National Apple Dumpling Day after all. Dresden from the Pennsylvania Bakery is here to show us how to make this fall favorite treat. Good morning, Dresden. Good morning, hi. Thanks so much for coming in. And you know, I gotta ask, we have the apples, but you know, are you more team apple or team pumpkin here? You know, I don't want to play the middle. There's a season for both. But this time of year, it's apples. Okay. Sure. All right. All right. So let's make some apple dumplings. Where the heck do we start, Dresden? Well, we start with the, the dough that I've got right here. Uh, I'm just going to roll it out a little bit, and we're going to make our little dough squares. Just like the kitchen back home, we're going to smooth it out nice. Try to make it somewhat even. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I mean, just looking at everything involved here, you know, what, what's the prep time kind of like here? Oh, um, from start to finish, I mean, you'll see here, you can cut these out, put them together pretty quick, and then the longest part is honestly the baking. Um, they go in the oven for about a half hour or so to bake, um, but the prep is pretty straightforward. You just smooth it out, about like that. Um, and then we cut out my squares. I just use my cutter to measure. Nice precision. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so how, how much demand are you getting for, for Apple anything these days at, at the Pia Bakery? Oh, uh, right now, this time of year, I mean, we're selling dozens a day. I mean, till, till the season ends, we'll have gone through a couple thousand dumplings. But um, each day, I mean, we're constantly moving, you know, it's all the time. So these are ready to go in here. I have the apples already peeled, already cut. Ooh. I for a little extra flavor, put a little bit of butter right in the middle there. Oh. I don't, I, don't tell us the calories, please. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> you were not. thinking of that? I was. Oh, I'm like, look at the butter. <laughs> when it comes to desserts, calories never count. The, yeah. Yes. That's you, a great uh, way to live. If, if you've walked in the PA Bakery, I always say you get a sugar rush as soon as you walk in that door. So, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we actually, thanks to some TV magic, we actually do have a... Uh, a few done here's ah uh, there we go a little cinnamon sugar inside mm. delicious it smells so good that too. doesn't seem to be a wrong amount when as long as it's uh, a lot right it's it's That's very it. precision <laughs> no it's um everything to taste everything to look and then you just kind of fold them up in the dumpling over it ah, okay i like it shape a ball i feel like i could do this i'm not an expert but you absolutely could <laughs> put me in coach <laughs> you're welcome to try I mean, Alex, you're right there. You might as well. You might as well do the last one. Come on. You want to, you want to try? Yeah. All right, here we you go. You just stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> See, mine aren't very perfect right now. Fold it up. Just pinch the corners in. Good effort. Pinch the corners in. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's like a pierogi kind of. A little bit of. of a stretch. Yeah, exactly. And again, my measurements aren't precise, so <laughs> you're don't doing look, great. See, if you look at the front, <laughs> it is fantastic. Shape it with your uh -huh. hands. And then, to the finish, <laughs> I already have <gasps> Ooh. to give it that Full final marinade. final brown crisp in the oven. Oh, Wash it with okay. a little bit of That's egg. That's the secret. Here, Alex, there's your little. Oh, thank oh. you. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. A little bit of egg. So we saw the then, prep process. You're going to put a little more sugar, cinnamon on top. That's right. And then they're ready to go in the oven after this. Fantastic. Right over top. And then they'll go in the oven. Can you just give everyone a reminder of where you're located in Camp Hill? Yes, we are on 1713 Market Street in uh, Camp Hill, PA, right at the top of the hill. Can't right. miss it. And we've got the finished product, right? We have the finished product. Can yeah. we pull it out? It smells delicious. <laughs> Let me wash my hands. That's fair. That's, yeah, see, <laughs> that's what you have to appreciate. And of course, they've got all these options there. And uh, anyone who's ever been there, the uh, the decorated fall cookies are uh, also very good. And um, icing, never never a problem there. That's, it never that's hurt anybody. one thing I appreciate. About mm -mm. This <laughs> so we got to wrap it up soon, but we do want to get a look at the final product there here. There you go. Oh, you need that smell of vision on a day like today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. It looks delicious. Thank you, Dresden, so much for coming in. And we will definitely be stopping by soon. Yes, we will. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you.